Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to make a custom map for your server and also how to make it for single player, so let me just open that up really quick. Okay, first find your custom map that you want to download, make sure it's a zip file, and um, just make sure, okay, download it. Okay, once you have it downloaded, it should show up, um, if you're using a Mac, it should show up in your downloads folder right here. Um, this is Island Survival. What you want to do is, here I'll show you from the beginning, you want to go into your username, mine is Samuel OTPD 2014, and then you go into the library, go down all the way to application support, um, which should be at the top of the list, but I accidentally messed that up. Um, then go into Minecraft, and then go under saves file, and then just drag that zip file into, um, oh, into the save file and if you drag it into the save file it should work for single player okay so you want to open it once you have it in your saves file and should unpack and then you go on to your minecraft and you can play it like um he accident well he didn't accidentally he put it another he put the world file actually inside of the folder with the readme file Ugh, it's so annoying just ex take it out and put it back onto the saves file and then it should work Okay, now that you have it, it should be called World 1, 2, 3, or 4. That's usually how it goes. Um, it'll just take a little bit of time to convert. Um, it does not take a while. Uh, he's lying about that. It takes about five seconds. And let's see if this works, hopefully. And... Done. We're on Survival Island. The small island. Which is also a great map to start on. It's really fun and it can teach the basics. Um, okay, now I'm gonna show you how to put it onto your server. Okay, so now you have your world. Um, you can rename rename it to whatever you want. Um, simply just drag it onto your desktop or whatever. Uh, that's where I told you to put your server. Then drag it, if you have a server folder, which I do, just drag it into there and it should work easily but there's one extra thing you have to do. You have to open server properties. Um, just take a few seconds for that to load. And then type in what uh, the folder's called. For this, it's world um, 3, I think. Uh, yes, world 3. And then just make sure you save it. And then you, when you open your Minecraft server, it should have it. Just takes a little bit of time because it's downloading the map for your server. Um, one thing I messed up, you're supposed to stop your server in your terminal like I showed you in the other um, game, in the other how-to video. After that stopped, it should... Okay, my server stopped, so now um, you want to change your server properties, then uh, put the Java XM thing that is shown on the download site of minecraft.net and then it should be starting to load and you will see world 3 so that is good other than your other world and now we're gonna open it okay I'm logging in and we're gonna see if this works hopefully it will this time um, I forgot to do that whole terminal stop and then restart thing um, takes a few seconds to load because it is a new map and you're on survival island with your friends it's perfect and that's it for today um... okay i'll see you later